Okay, welcome back to another video. This video I'm going to tell you how to make a test box. And this is basically when you've got a circuit for a pedal, instead of um, wiring it all up with crocodile clips and bits going everywhere, you can literally just wire your circuit up to this, so you've got positive, negative input and output. And then you can just press the stomp box and the light comes on and your effect should start up. And you've got obviously in the in and out. It just looks like a normal guitar pedal, but it's got crocodile clips on it. Obviously, you should design it whichever way you like. I've done that. This was originally the first pedal that I ever made, which was a fuzz pedal. And um, I decided that I was kind of going on doing other pedals and thought I really need one of these te test boxes so I just ripped it apart and put crocodile clips in it instead. So I'm going to open it up and show you what you need to do in order to make one of these and I'll hopefully include a circuit diagram which I'll put up on the screen as well. Okay so this is my test box opened up so what you'll need is a three pole double throw stomp switch, two mono jacks, a I use a 4.7K resistor for the LED. You need an LED. I've got a blue one in this particular one. And you will need a plastic DC lug. This, I say plastic because this is a metal case. So if you had a metal DC lug, it wouldn't work because it'll shut everything out. So you'll need, I mean, in this one I've, I've used a braided wire, but I, I, I use solid wire now because it's a lot easier to work with. And you'll need to just follow the circuit. Um, hopefully I've put one up on the screen so you can see how this circuit works. And obviously you need four crocodile clips that attach to this box. Okay, so hopefully the circuit's up there and you can see that. This, I have done this a few times in my videos, but I'll show you how it works with the circuit. I'm about to test out this circuit here, because I want to know if this one works. So as you can see, you've got your output, 9 volt ground input wires coming out of the circuit. And so they connect directly to those crocodile clips that indicate those things. I've had to write on here input and output, because sometimes I get mixed up with what they're supposed to be called. Your input goes from your guitar, your output goes into your amp. You don't have to use an amp, you can use whatever you plug your guitar into. You can pl plug it into your laptop or whatever it is that you've got. Not everybody has an amp. Um, and then the input goes to the guitar there. I'm going to just have the amp on standby for the moment. Oh, obviously I need to plug the thing in as well. Okay, so we've got a DC 9 volt normal guitar pedal power supply. It's going to plug into there. Then we know this works because it lights up. So that works right. Okay. So now what we want to do is I know my, it, it also helps if you use the right colours where I have them. I've just, well, I've got white for ground where I should have used black. Just because otherwise it just throws you when you're trying to do this. Red, great, that's going to 9 volt. My out, my in is blue but with a green crocodile clip, okay? And then my out is yellow. Okay, so that is all that. Just to, this is a volume knob on here. I'm just going to put it at full volume because I don't care. Right. So that's how you attach it to your test box. What I should have done as well is made these crocodile clip wires a little bit longer because they're too short and it's just better if they're longer so you can have the thing over here. So, Okay, so the other thing is, why should you have a test box? What's the point of having one? Well, when you build a circuit and you put it straight into a box all wired up and everything and then you test it out and it doesn't work, what do you what do you think's you know it could be the wiring in the box or it could be the wiring on the board but this way i know that the wiring in the box is correct so i'm literally just going to test the board itself only 
Um, if there's anything wrong, if it doesn't work, I know it's something to do with that and it's not to do with that because I know this works. So if this fires up, I can then confidently go and put it in a in a enclosure of itself. And then if it doesn't work, I know it's just the enclosure that doesn't work. So this this is just making life a lot easier for you because, yeah, you don't want to wire a whole pedal up and then it not work and you not know why and it's just going to drive you absolutely nuts. Because um, more often than not, these are very board circuits. If you get it off the internet, sometimes it's not verified. You know, if it means it's not very verified, it means someone's not built it. And then if you go and build it and it doesn't work, then, you know, it could just be down to the person who designed it just hasn't done it right. Sometimes people don't always do their diagrams. There's mistakes in the diagrams. You have to read all the comments below to, to make sure, you know, people who have actually made it have said, yeah, I've made it and it works or it doesn't work or change this or change that. So it's, um, can get a bit complicated. Anyway, this one is ready to go. So I'm going to turn that on. I've got my volume too loud. That's clean. There you have it, there's your test box.